Well, let's try this again. I was talking about how I was trying to make a video blog and out of a sudden I got a phone call and so the camera went away. So let's try this one more time. So it's Thursday, April 21st, 2022. Welcome to my channel. This is this Wing Gonzalez, PJ the Whoop Gonzalez. Um, first of all, Saturday, April 23rd at the Fitness Mill in Utica, uh, New York Championship Wrestling presents downtown beat down i'll be there i'll be there in the battle royale with many more anyway um so yeah i was wondering because one of the things that i would like to accomplish this year is to be able to make it to aw dark i i think i have the skills to be in aw dark to make my opponent look good i've been doing this for a while and most of the matches like that i've been doing independently i always have to put my opponent over and i know how to do that well i know how to sell um there are videos on my channel of uh, matches that I have done recently. I know that I don't wrestle all the time, um, also because of having a, a day job. I have a, a retail job, and I work at Walmart. Um, so I have to work on Sundays. So I have to give uh, my employer one day of the weekend. Um, so it's a little bit difficult for me to travel uh, far away. Um, if I could have a different line of work, you know, that would be great. That trying to do that but for now that's what I have I have gotten opportunities in the past and I know that for a while I was out because um, I started wrestling in Puerto Rico I mean let me give you a give for background I started wrestling in Puerto Rico in 1999 um, in 2000 I moved to work for the in Philadelphia so I ended up finding the Monster Factory that was by the time that Larry Char was in charge the Monster Factory um, I got to train there for a while and, uh, uh, part of 2000, I started in 2000, March 2001, and I ended up staying there until like December 2001 before I had to return back to Puerto Rico. I don't consider myself a credit of the Montessor factor, but I did learn a lot of, a lot in terms of green psychology and also uh, chain wrestling. Which I love chain wrestling and ended up learning more on chain wrestling, and, and, and it's something that I love using wrestle and um, then I moved to um, back to Puerto Rico I wrestled in the independence thanks to my friend um, at the time on Chiqui Soriano and uh, wrestled on the island then I moved to Dawson for moved to New York State uh, to pursue a PhD in environmental engineering which I couldn't finish but I discovered a promotion and I started working uh, on and off in the the wrestling business. It was difficult because social media was not as it is today, so it was difficult to contact some promoters. Um, I did work in promotions in Vermont, and uh, I was trying to expand, but because again I was in Puerto Rico, so many people knew about me, you know. Um, and then I also got interested in theater, so between doing community theater and wrestling, so I barely had time to, to do many shows. Finally, my car died. And I had to back down from my stay job because um, I did not have a car and um, so I ended up going to school again part time for a while and forgot about wrestling, I started theater arts, I started business administration and accounting. Now, uh, 2015, I was able to get this car was, uh, because I got a new job with a state and my dad decided to help me to get a car. So I bought this new car and um, it's no longer new, it's been like six years since I have so I went, started. Um, I started getting again back in the business and training, and uh, getting booking was a little bit difficult. But I got given opportunities, and then uh, I was working for In Your Face Wrestling for a while, and doing camera, doing crew, but they never gave me the chance to wrestle again. It wasn't until I started training with Kevin Landry in 2017 that I began getting more bookings. Uh, Dynasty Wrestling allowed me to to wrestle. Um, then, then about that I began getting more opportunities in your championship wrestling. I wrestled more than championship wrestling. So I've gotten some opportunities out there. And even this year I got to expand to wrestle in New Jersey. I wrestled against the Angel Orsini. Um, she was part of ECW back in the day. So I got on some opportunities and um, I definitely want to make it to the dark. I've seen some of my friends, people that I have worked in the ring with 
make it to AW the Dark, so I think having the opportunity to be in AW the Dark would be awesome. I just don't know how to do it. I don't know if I get invited to go there or if I have, uh, I have, or if I have to find a way to go down there and then show up on the day of the taping and then hope that they can use me in one of the matches. I don't know how that works. I don't know how I can contact. I don't know who I have to talk to make this happen. But I would love to make that happen this year. If it happens, great. If it doesn't happen, well, it is why it is. But I, I know I have the skills. I know how to sell, I know how to work, I know how to tell a story in the ring. So if I get the chance to be in there, that would be great. But if not, that would be okay too. And I don't want any fun for her. I don't want people that can't my past. You know, I just want to, to have the chance to show my my art, pretty much, what I can do. But, that's it. I know that WWE would be difficult to get into. I don't think I would be able to make it. I mean, it would be awesome if I can make just a cameo as a security guard, like, just looking like highly intimidating, because I can be intimidating. I think I can be intimidating, right? Yeah. Hey, you. You are not allowed to be here. See, it can be intimidating. Um, I don't know if that will happen either. I mean, it would be great if it happens, but I don't think that we may use me. Um, or as a craft, you know, I also work as a craft. I've been learning how to work as a craft, um, as a referee. I know how to count to three, I know how to count to five, and I also can count it in Spanish too. Yeah, Spanish. I know how to count it's a craft in Spanish. My God, let's make it out of this place. Yeah, I know how to count in Spanish. I know how to speak in Spanish too, which will be great for uh, people that speak in Spanish. Again, I was born in Puerto Rico. I started training in Puerto Rico, so that makes sense. Anyway, but definitely I want to make, to see if I can get the opportunity to be in AW Dark. I just don't know how to do it, but I would love to have that opportunity. And that would be probably one of the things that I will do before I decide to hang on my boots because yes, I'm getting older and as you get older, you get, the body gets a little bit more time to recover sometimes, but doesn't mean that I can still step in the ring and can manage myself in the ring because I'm still doing it and you know, I have a, a lot of experience and I just want to show my skills and show what I can do as an entertainer and as a worker and show my skills with a web during my entrance or during my and the announcement. And, you know, getting to crack the web in the ring, that would be fantastic. I think a lot of people are going to be like, whoa, that's a web. Because that's what happened you show whenever I enter my, uh, any independent show. I crack the web on people just like, whoa. Like, uh, which is fine, because that's why I decided to use a face paint. I know a lot of like, promo some promotions don't like face paint. The face paint came because People started cheering for me when they hear the whip. And I'm like, no, do you, you weren't supposed to be booing me because I'm going to be the heel, the villain, you know, and they're just cheering me when they hear the crack of the whip. So I decided to do the face paint so I don't, don't look very uh, pretty, you know, even though I think my face paint looks fabulous when I do my face paint. But, um, yeah. Anyway, that's all I got. I mean, like, like I said, I would love to make it to AEW Dark, AEW Dark, um, at some point this year, or maybe next year, so, I don't know, but I really have no idea how to make it happen, so, if there's anybody in there that can provide some feedback, that would be great if, uh, would be great if I, if I get the chance to be in AEW Dark, anyway, that's all I got for now, peace everybody, stay safe, and have an awesome day, bye.